Hey Hackintosh gang, today I will show you how to edit your AFI configuration. Before we start, make sure you watch my new guide before watching this. Some of the video will cover here in relation to that video. A common bad AFI configuration is that when you got stuck when your Hackintosh is booting, some will have artifacts on the screen with the invalid symbol on the screen, some will just randomly boot loot, and it won't push through. The configuration that we need to edit is called config.plist under AFI and OC folder. We will be using OC auxiliary tool or OCAT for short. The config.plist has different section that you can edit depending on your machine. It may vary what data you will add or delete in each section. I will demonstrate how to edit your config.plist. Check the description box for the link of my website. I provided the link for OCAT that you can download. Click the latest release and download the Windows version. Copy OCAT.zip on your Vento USB flash drive, right-click and extract it. Then delete the OCAT.zip. Eject Vinto USB flash drive and let's boot it on your target computer. Let's boot into Windows 10 Portable. Open File Explorer and go to your Vinto USB flash drive. Drag the OCAT folder and AFI on your desktop. Open the OCAT folder and run OCAT.axe. Now let's open the config.plist. Make a duplicate of the config. It's a good habit to have a backup in case we messed up. Now let's open the config.plist. If you want to enable or disable, just check the tick box. On the display properties, this section is related to your graphics or display configuration. If you want to disable a settings here, just add the number sign next to it, double click and type it there. Then press enter. Some section has sub settings. On the right, if you want to edit it, just double click it then type something there. Then press enter. To add some entry, click the plus button on the right. To delete that entry, click the minus button. In the kernel section, if you want to disable some kernel or kex, you can do it here. Tick the enable button. If you want to delete that kex in the config, click the minus button on the right. If you want to add some kex, click the plus button then select the kex you want to add in. It will be automatically be enabled. On the NVRAM section, if you add some boot flags while booting you can edit it here. Click the third settings, on the right for the boot argument, type the argument you want to add. Then press enter. On the platform section, you can change your SMBIOS settings from here. You can generate the system serial numbers, system UUID and other settings.
Once done, click on the Save button above. Now, we are just going to put the edited AFI folder into the OpenCore AFI partition using Disk Genius. Open Disk Genius. Select the Open Core Partition, click the Files tab. Delete the existing AFI folder. Drag the edited AFI folder into Disk Genius. That's about it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. See you on the next one.